Today, we're using E7014 welding rod to show everyone how to weld a two-pass horizontal joint all the way up to the cover pass. Now, let's talk about the rod angle. Your trailing hand should lean slightly in the direction of the rod. Vertically, the hand should tilt slightly downward, just like this. All right, let's take a close-up look at the details. For the first pass, we start by pressing along the bottom line. Keep the rod just above the edge line and make slanted circular motions underneath. Let the rod tip rest gently on the lower edge. Keep drawing those slanted circles. Lift the arc slightly, don't press it too low. Watch closely, see the rod movement and control? Both hands work together smoothly, see that? The rod moves right in, steady and precise. For the second pass, keep the welding rod vertically straight up and down and let the rod angle tilt slightly to the left and right. The arc should be lifted just a little. And remember, don't raise the arc, just press it steadily as you go. For the first pass, use the two step forward, one step back technique. Make sure the upper edge line is your center point and press the weld halfway down from that line. That's how you get a full, even and solid weld bead. At that point, when you're laying down the second pass, press it right along the upper line, keep the arc slightly raised, and use the two-step forward, one-step back technique. Take a look at the weld's final appearance after completion. Each pass should overlap and press onto the previous one and make sure to avoid any slag inclusion between the layers as much as possible. We're using a number 12 welding rod for this process.